Morning guys, uh, a little bit of a sun right there. I know it's pretty bright, but uh, heading out to do Uber on Sunday morning. Uh, we're gonna see if it's any better or any worse than a night shift. I say shift whenever I wanna work. Uh, golly, it's a beautiful day. It's been rainy the past few days, so now it's nice and sunny. It's like, I think the app said like 45, 50 degrees, so it's pretty nice, a little chilled. Mm. All right, let's start the day off right. First order down, it was a little awkward. I, I op He opened the door and I said, how you doing? And he said, thanks. And I was like, uh, 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 didn't know what to do. And just, we both walked away. <laughs> Not the smoothest transition for dropping off food, but hey, I dropped it off. All right, on to the second. Second, done. Third, done. Four, done. Fifth, done. Six, done. It's truly amazing at how fast some of the restaurants are ready or get your order ready when you come in. You can so tell between the, the fancier, more up, upper class restaurants rather than the fast food, lower class restaurants. I'm, I just went into Hardee's and I kid you not, I stood there at the cash register, no one around me, and they walked past me like four times. They looked me dead in the eyes and just kept doing what they were doing. Dude, you don't even know what I want. I could just want a straw. I mean, dude, you're trying to get orders as quick as you can. They, it's just they don't care in those restaurants. Same with Popeyes. Popeyes was a terrible one as well. They would just walk by me. They would be doing their own thing and just get to me whenever. And then you then you go into a place like Chick-fil-A and they're all up, they're ready for you. They are they couldn't be more helpful. And then like I haven't had an issue with Bojangles either. Uh, I went into Cafe Carolina today or Cafe Caroline, Carolina. Uh, went up to the cash register. Boom, someone was there. They said go over there and then somebody over there helped me and handed me my order. Uh, I mean, it's it's amazing how different restaurants do their delivery or uh, their pickups. Some are terrible and some are fabulous. God. I just picked up and two orders, one for Hardee's and one at Caribou Coffee, I believe it's called. I've never actually been in there, it was pretty cool. Coffee shops always smell really good anyways. But uh, I have had like 60 something trips, 66 trips in the last eight days. And all of them have been places that I would eat at. Oh, you know, wait, I take that back. <laughs> there are some places that I wouldn't eat, uh, but I do not like Hardee's. And I just picked one of these up. I haven't been to Hardee's in 10 years, I will probably never go again. The dude canceled his order, of course. So I could eat it if I wanted. Of course, of course, it has to be the one place that I would never eat at. It's like, ah, come on, why couldn't it have been Chick-fil-A? <laughs> ah, so close, so close. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back, get back to it. Uh, they gave me money for that canceled order. So now I'm on, I'm technically on order seven. Nope, they didn't want to, they, they canceled it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. See you, man. Great news, guys. We, uh, we had that extra Hardee's bag that someone canceled. And so when I was picking up my, well, it might've been in either eighth or ninth uh, trip at Panda Express, there was, a, there was a homeless guy there. So we just got to give it to him. So it all worked out. Perfect. Back at home and I'm gonna have some lunch. I think I want, a ham and cheese sandwich, but I want an egg in it. So we're gonna cut out the middle of the bread and we're gonna put one egg in it. First, we're going to cook the ham 
For some reason, this ham is so slimy. So I'm definitely gonna cook it. <laughs> Since I only want one egg, we're gonna make one whole. So I take this is a good size. I take this, I do it like this. Make sure it's in the middle as best as possible. And, oh, boom, there you go. Circle, and then you get to push this out. And now you Now when you put this in the pan, it'll be flat and you just, boom, crack your egg, boop, right in there. And then cook that for, I don't know, a minute, and then flip that bad boy over, cook it, and then we'll put our ham on, cheese on, and other piece of bread. We'll flip it again. Perfect. Perfect. Now we need to cut our cheese. Oh, darn, it's not the good knife. This is a serrated one. Ah. Oh, well, we'll make it work. It still cuts. Get this out. Flip it around just because I'm weird like that. It'll take, uh, we'll do a lot, like three slices. So we'll cut some of this. Cut the wax off. Uh, cut it off down here too. But this doesn't really matter. It's just getting it out of the way. Uh, we'll cut a little bit off right there. I don't want to really eat wax. <laughs> See if we can get some nice, thin, easy, even slices. Uh, not the best. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. And three should work to cover the bread. And then of course, we'll, we'll try to even it out here. But this is just for snacking purposes. You always gotta test out the product, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, I think that's enough on the ham. So we'll just take this off real quick. Let her cool down. Then we will put this right there. And we're gonna toast. Yeah, we'll toast both sides. We've got our one egg here. Put it right in the center of that bad boy. Perfect. And now we wait. Time to flip it over. I can get it there. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Boop. Ah, no. Okay. Perfect. There we go. And we'll... Let's see. Do we need to flip this one over? No, we don't. All right. Now we'll put everything on. Put our ham. And then... We'll put our cheese. And then we put the hot side down. There we go, now the cheese will start melting. Oh yeah, perfect. And well, it's not centered, but oh well. We'll pour some of the best liquid in the world. Oh yeah, so good, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, time to flip a Reno. Looks it looks okay. I would have preferred it to be, have been even. And now we get to relax and eat after a good mornings of work. Mornings worth of work. Let's see if it's any good. Bottom. Oh no. Whoops. First bite was good. I might change my mind <laughs> later on when I've eaten more. Oh yeah, beautiful, perfectly executed. Round two of Ubering for today. I made about $50 this, or this morning and I made about $41 I think yesterday. So I need, a, I need about 40, $54 to add up to 146 to average $73 and 33 cents uh, because that is 73.33 times uh, 30 is 2200 and that's obviously my goal so uh, that's 
that's what we're gonna try to do today, or I guess right now during this one. That would probably take anywhere from six to eight trips. And uh, we're gonna head over to state right now. We're actually going to start Ubering from right here. I'm, um, I'm in my neighborhood. And uh, hopefully we can get a trip going over, whoops, <laughs> going over to state. So it's basically paying for our gas uh, over there to, our, to the hot spot. Uh, Grandpa was out for a walk. Grandma was taking a nap. Watched a little bit of the new movie between uh, this morning and now. Uh, it was the, the Willy Wonka movie, the new Willy Wonka movie with Timothy Chalamet. So far, pretty good. It's, it's a musical, uh, a little bit of a different plot than the first two Willy Wonkas. Enjoying it, and I can't wait to finish it. Dang, I just had the worst thing happen uh, for Ubering yet, and I had two orders for the same place. I went in. I confirmed one of them, and then apparently the second person, uh, half their order was ready, and they added something else on right when I got there, apparently. And so they had to they had to make it, and it was a pizza place. I think it was a lasagna. And the guy estimated 10 minutes, so I thought, okay, that's not too long. Maybe they'll get it out early. It took them 20 minutes. So when I handed that the first lady her food that pizza was not warm anymore it was it was not hot it was I mean it was it was warm but come on when you want when you get pizza you want it hot and man I just feel so bad because now this lady who ordered something late like right as I was there now gets a hot meal ah, I just hate that for that other other lady if if you're watching this I doubt you will ever see this, but I'm so sorry, Miss Mary. She said she was okay with it, but I just hate that. All right, on to the next order. All right, last pick of the night, and it is massive. It's like 11 things. <laughs> it's a little windy out too, and I, I was coming out with one hand. All right, let's go ahead and deliver this, and then we're gonna head home. Ah, uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Just got near home and I am going out with grandma and grandpa to Japan Express right there. Yeah, I <laughs> nailed it. And uh, they were at home and I was like five minutes away. Uh, he didn't answer my text so I just called him and so they're gonna be about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna chill and just go mindless on Instagram. Meal for tonight. Grandpa got the shrimp, shrimp, chicken. Hi, morning guys. Uh, yeah, a little weird that I'm saying morning, but this is the next morning and I realized uh, when I was editing this, I didn't film an outro. So uh, when I got home, uh, Grandpa and I watched a little bit of the South Carolina LSU game uh, for the women's championship. Then we watched a little bit of a state game I took a shower, then I went to bed and watched a little bit of Willy Wonka. And I also wanna let y'all know that I made $135 total yesterday and a profit of $118.06. So very good. And I am up to like averaging 79 over the first two days, which is perfect because I need to average 73. So I'm up by six bucks. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.